this video we will see one problem on joint probability distribution okay the problem is a fair coin is tossed or thrice the random variable x and y are defined as follows x is equal to 0 or 1 according as head or tail occurs on the first toss okay and y represents number of heads so first question is determine the distribution of x and y second is determine the joint distribution of x and y okay and now in the question you see a coin is fair coin is tossed thrice okay so uh, when a coin is tossed thrice you need to write the sample space for that in this way okay so in the first uh, column 4 times h 4 times t in the second column 2 times h 2 times t okay and again 2 times h 2 times t and in the third column 1 time h 1 time t 1 time h 1 time t so in this way you need to write sample space so there are 8 possibilities when you toss a coin thrice okay so write the sample space yes write all the possibilities what you have listed here okay so after writing the sample space you observe the random variables are x and y and they are to be defined as x is equal to 0 you need to take the value of x as 0 when when head occurs in first toss so when head occurs in first toss you need to take the value of x as 0 okay and when tail occurs in the first toss you need to write the value of x as 1 okay so if tail occurs in the first toss okay you need to take the value of x as 1 and y represents the random variable y represents number of heads and by using this data only we need to find out distribution of x and distribution of y okay now we'll see the solution in the solution you write the sample space first by looking at this written and then one write one table with the x sorry with the s x and y okay so s is sample space what you have written here and in the second row you write x values x is nothing but zero when you get head in the first toss so here you can observe in the first toss you have head here also h here also h h so you have written the value of the random variable as 0 0 0 0 okay and here in the next option you have t as the first letter so getting tail in the first toss so if that is the case you are writing the x value as 1 so you have written 1 here also t first 1 1 1 okay so after entering the values of random variable x you will move to y okay y represents number of heads and here in the sample space in the first uh, val uh, first outcome is h h h so you have three heads so you have entered the value of y as three and the next outcome is h h t and number of heads equal to two two times heads okay so you have entered two here also two heads one head here two heads one head one head and no head okay so no h is there so you have entered y value is equal to zero okay so in the first row you need to write the sample space all the outcomes of the sample space and then in the second row you are writing x values x value is given in the question write zero when you have head in the first toss okay write one when you have tail in the first toss and write y random variable y count the number of heads and write the number here three heads two heads one head no head like that okay so after writing this table you need to uh, write the dis distribution of x and y and for that we need the value of f of x and g of y okay and to calculate that uh, you need to write x values i mean random the values which random variable x takes so in the second row you can observe x is taking 0 and 1 so that you write x is equal to 0 comma 1 and here random variable y is taking the values 0 1 2 and also 3 okay so the values 
for y will be 0 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so after entering x values and y values now you calculate probability of to write the distribution you calculate probability of x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 represents head in the first toss okay so probability of x is equal to 0 is 1 2 3 4 okay 4 uh, favorable cases out of 8 out of 8 possibilities okay out of 8 possibilities you have 4 favorable cases for getting x is equal to 0 meaning head in the first toss so the probability is 4 by 8 nothing but 1 by 2 in the same way you calculate probability of x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 means getting tail in the first toss getting tail in the first toss again you have 4 possibilities out of 8 so 4 by 8 answer will be 1 by 2 in the same way you calculate probability of y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 means y value is 0 meaning number of heads you need to count in y y is 0 means no head ok so in the outcome the outcome which in which no head is there no h is there that you need to take that is ttt so only one possibility out of 8 so that you have written as 1 by 8 in the same way probability of y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 in the sense 1 head 1 head is here 1 2 3 so you can find 1 head in 3 places out of 8 so 3 divided by 8 in the same way probability of y is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 in the sense 2 heads 2 heads are here 1 possibility 2 3 possibilities so 3 divided by 8 so probability of y is equal to 3 meaning 3 heads 3 heads is only one possibility out of 8. So 1 divided by 8. After finding all the probabilities, now you write distribution of x. And how to write this is table. In the, uh, in the table, x you write x values. x values are 0 and 1. 0, 1 you have written. And f of x values are the probabilities that you have calculated. For x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 you have written. And then distribution of y. Distribution of y is again the table which contains y and g of y. y values you enter 0, 1, 2, 3 in the first row. And g of y values are the probabilities that we have calculated for y is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So those values you enter and finish distribution of x and distribution of y. So first question over. And now moving to second question. Second question is finding out the joint distribution of x and y and to write the joint distribution uh, you need to use the formula j i j is equal to p of x is equal to x i comma y is equal to y j uh, and here they have not given anything about x and y whether they are independent or dependent so you can if they are independent you would have used j i j is equal to f of x i into g of y j okay like in the last problem we have used j i j is equal to f of x i into g of y j and here uh, no specific condition about x and y so you cannot use that formula so you need to uh, use the basic definition of joint distribution only to write the joint i mean j11 j12 j13 and all the elements of the joint distribution table okay and now we'll see how to write j i j's okay so now you take i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 j 1 1 ok so this will give you p of x is equal to you have taken i is equal to 1 so it is x 1 ok so only two values for x are there x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 ok so that you will have written here x is equal to 0 random variable x is with only two values ok 0 and 1 that you need to write and now for y you have 0 1 2 3 values for y are 0 1 2 3 ok that you have seen in the previous page 
so now you need to take the combination of x is equal to 0 first value of x with all the values of y so 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 okay to get j11 j12 j13 j14 okay now we will see how to write that so j11 is nothing but p of x is equal to 0 first value of x into first value of y okay so x represents x is equal to 0 represents head in the first toss okay and this probability this line is telling probability of getting h in the first toss okay and now this is telling y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 is telling no heads so this is telling first toss is head and this is no head okay so this is impossible event so we are calculating probability of getting one head in the first toss and also no head so this is meaningless so this is an impossible event so probability will be zero so the value of j11 is zero okay and now coming to j12 j12 is nothing but p of x is equal to zero y is equal to one combination of x is equal to 0 with y is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 0 is telling getting head in the first toss and y is equal to 1 will tell on number of head should be 1. Okay. So, first toss will be head and only one head should be there. So, the probability of that case you need to calculate. Now, you see first toss is h and only one h should be there. Okay, so HTT is the possibility. So one, only one possibility is there out of eight, like this. Getting H in the first toss and there should be only one head. Okay, so J12 is 1 by 8. And if we calculate J13, it is P of X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 2. X is equal to 0 means first toss, H should be there and number of heads equal to 2 so number of heads is equal to 2 h h t first toss is h and number of heads equal to 2 h h t and also h t h first toss is h total number of heads is equal to 2 so two possibilities are there out of 8 so h h t and h t h answer will be 1 by 4 in the same way j14 to be calculated getting head as the head in the first toss number of heads equal to 3 so this will be h h h first toss h and total number of heads 3 so there is only one possibility out of 8 so 1 by 8 in the same way calculate j21 j21 is combination of x is equal to 1 with all the values of y so x is equal to 1 means x is equal to 1 means getting tail in the first toss okay so getting tail in the first toss and there should not be h in the outcome getting tail in the first toss and there should not be h y is equal to 0 means no h in the outcome so that possibility is t t t so only one possibility out of 8 in the same way j22 is nothing but p of x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 getting tail in the first toss number of head should be 1 so number of head should be 1 first toss is t so two possibilities are there t h t t t h ok so 2 divided by 8 out, out of 8 possibilities 2 outcomes are favorable so answer will be 1 by 4 and now to calculate j23 p of x is equal to 1 I mean uh, head uh, tail in the first toss number of heads equal to 2 tail in the first toss number of heads is equal to 2 so th is the possibility 1 by 8 only one possibility out of 8 1 by 8 is the value for j23 in the same way j24 getting tail in the first toss number of heads equal to 3 that is not possible getting tail in the first toss and total number of heads should be 3 so that is also an impossible event so probability will be 0 so after calculating all these jijs 
you need to enter the same in joint probability distribution table okay so here x values you are writing y values you have entered and these values j i j values also you have entered j 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 j 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 and also at the end you have written sum of this first row that is 1 by 2 sum of second row sum of first column second column third column fourth column when you add the last values that is f of xi and g uh, g of yj values sum should be 1 okay and this is the joint distribution table for x and y